343 just revealed exactly how coatings work in Halo Infinite, going in much more detail about the customization that is offered in the game. While it does look awesome, it does bring a lot of concerns, like the removal of primary and secondary color customization. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you our news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these kind of videos, make sure to tap that like button so we know you want to see some more content like this and it greatly helps out this video get in the YouTube algorithm so more people get to see this video, stay in the know with everything going on with Halo. If you want to stay up to date with all the news happening in Halo, make sure you subscribe to the channel as well. Now I'm sure many of you have seen the Monarch armor coating being shared around the purple and gold awesome coloring that looks pretty freaking sweet, the customization looks great. But that's all we knew at the time. But now we had a recent community update from Unishike, the community manager over at 343. It goes way into detail about exactly how these armor coatings work. In this video, I'm going to break that all down for you. I will warn you, there is a bit of reading to do with this one, but I just want to make sure I get their words down exactly because there is a lot of confusion within the community right now. And Unishike did reply on Twitter, which we'll get into later in this video about to clarify a few things. So let's start right off the bat. Bam. Here's some new armor customization options for you guys right here. This is a new armor coating called Redshift. And you can tell it's much more worn, beat up, and kind of rusty kind of looking to the whole thing. You can see how the customization is much different than it was for the Monarch one. The Monarch had a big critique about it being too clean and crystal clear kind of stuff. Well, this one is basically like how Halo Reach would do Halo Infinite customization. So you can see there's gonna be a lot more variety when it comes to the styles of customization you have for your sporting, which is gonna be great i love the red gray and black coloring to this one right here and the worn down look to it kind of reminds me of halo reach back in the day and you can see the visor color is different and there's a whole many different parts of it it's just really well done this looks freaking awesome this is actually is tied to a promotion much like the other coatings that we've been dealing with guys uh basically what you need to do is go purchase any halo or xbox merchandise at a GameStop between november 9th through the 13th and you'll get a code to unlock this armor coating. So this is the first time we've had some promotional material that won't actually degrade your health, which is really great to see. You know, cause I'm, I'm just like, guys, why is everything that you have to do promotion with had to be complete junk food? Why can't we just get like a, get the Sony sponsorship or you know something, you know, that's a little healthy, sponsor some apples or something, I don't know. Here's a very important statement that I wanna read out for you guys as well. Just gonna read it word for words to kind of ease any kind of clarification here for you. For the beginning, player expression has been a key pillar of Halo Infinite, and to achieve these goals, the team has developed a new system which is a powerful and flexible way to create, customize content quicker and more robustly than we've ever been able to do in the past. According to lead player investment designer Christopher Balm, if I pronounced it correctly, a coating is a seven layered shader that allows us to put any artistic authored color material or pattern into seven channels that apply to it in in-game like a weapon, armor, or vehicle. That's right, you heard correctly. Vehicle skins are also going to be involved with this. They're going to be vehicle coatings, I guess you call them, whatever. A very interesting thing here to know that they're like a seven layer thing. I guess it's like a you know burrito dip, which is pretty awesome. I like burrito dips. That sounds great. We do the same thing for Halo. Why not? I know a lot of people have been bringing up the customization coating styles as basically kind of the same way as Destiny, where you have your preset shaders and you can slap it onto your character to colorize them how you would like. But then it does kind of leave a lot of room for want when it comes to the kind of customization you would like for your coloring because you can't get a chance to create your exact color that you would like you have to kind of be to the whim or power of the creators of that shader and coloring so i think we're kind of falling along that same line as destiny 2 with halo infinite and you mentioned about the vehicle shaders well here is a new vehicle color for your warhog it's called the azure color which is kind of similar to what we saw from halo 5 it's awesome the gray and blue coloring for your warhog looks pretty freaking awesome there great to see in like a high res coloring right there which i'm a big fan of the coloring optimizations what you can have for your vehicles as well we did that right currently right now in ce i think we're going to get that in halo 3 with the most recent season coming around as well definitely looking forward to that i love having this kind of options as long as it's nothing that's like immersion breaking i'm totally fine with it okay guys here is the most important thing you need to understand with this video guys if you're going to take away anything it's this point right here colorization along with material and patterns will now be baked into the coating, taking the place of the primary slash secondary armor color options found in prior games. 
While we understand that many players are fond of the previous color system, we're very excited about the breadth and scope of armor, weapon, and vehicle customization options that will be available in Halo Infinite because of the coding system. Additionally, players should expect more robust per piece armor customization choices akin to what was available in Halo Reach versus what was offered in Halo 5. And as we expand our customization capabilities with armor geometry, materials, colors, and textures, it's important to the team that players are given more opportunities to express themselves within the game itself. More on that later. Now that sounds promising and also concerning at the same time with that one. Does that mean we do not have the ability at all to like color our Spartan how we would like? That's kind of concerning from my point of view. Uh, I know obviously primary, secondary colors, very basic stuff. You know, these armor coatings that we've been seeing are much more intricate. They offer a lot more options, which is pretty cool to see. They do look great. But the thing is I'm worried about is that it would lose your feeling of that being your Spartan like you had in Halo Reach. We're able to colorize armor pieces in primary and secondary colors and choose per piece options. Looks like we will have the per piece armor options like we did in Reach, which is great to hear. Uh, though the coloring being set to a certain style, this makes it feel like you lose that bit of customization where it's not exactly your Spartan, you know? You feel like you're wearing something else. But think of a situation where someone goes, hey, you have to wear the red shirt or the blue shirt. Which one do you want to wear? And you go, um, I guess the blue shirt. And you don't feel like you're wearing your shirt, you know? You feel like you're wearing somebody else's shirt that was given to you. That's the kind of feeling I'm getting with this idea with armor coatings. Now, it would be great to be able to like, like utilize different parts of armor coatings to mix them together, kind of mismatch it or something like that. But it seems like they're all going to be one that piece like you pick the monarch that's what you get you can pick the redshift and that's what you get you can't combine the two which is a little concerning from my point of view we don't have the full story to get to the point where we need to start flipping tables in rage because we're not getting the halo game that we want we're talking about having like robust customization you know per piece optimization for customization for armor geometry materials colors and textures it just seems like there's going to be more to come and we will know more. I guarantee I'll let you know on this channel. But for right now, it just seems like we're just losing options rather than gaining them. Unless you're going to make a thousands of different kinds of armor coating variations that like it just feel like I would hate to see someone else running around with Redshift. You know what I mean? Like I mentioned earlier in this video, Unicheck did reply to a few tweets out there kind of voicing their same kind of concerns about the customization for Halo Infinite. You lose that personalization. And so let's check out what Vito said here. I'm concerned with these armor coatings replacing selectable primary and secondary colors, improving armor options, and then reduce color options to pre-made paint jobs is conflicting. I hope the team can deliver on proper large selection of coatings to allow actual uniqueness. I think that's all what we're really worried about. And then also here, this is what community manager at Unishek jumped in and said, I totally understand the concerns here. But I can confidently tell you that uniqueness will not be a problem in Halo Infinite. Here's another tweet, again, replying to similar concerns and basically saying like, yep, we're not sitting around thinking about ways to take things away from players. No developer is. We're focused on building systems that can allow for better player expression. Yes, that required a tough call in this case, but we are excited by the system's overall potential. In this update, they also mentioned saying that we know many of you also have questions. We've got a lot more to share and show about multiplayer and customization in Halo Infinite. And we'll get there in due time. So basically, yeah, I do have my concerns. It does sound rather concerning that we only have the options for coatings for customization. Uh, again, there, we don't have the full story, so I'm not going to jump to any conclusions. I'm going to voice my concerns, but you guys know on this channel as well, being honest with you guys here, and we'll see what happens. You know, we have more information coming. There is leaked rumors that we will have a lot more information coming with the XO20 event happening likely November 9th, the day before the Xbox Series X. Rumor is that we'll get some Halo Infinite information, get some more gameplay trailers and stuff like that, some actual stuff to be shown. Maybe even a release date, so hopefully. So stay tuned to the channel for that. Thank you guys for watching, I greatly appreciate it. Check out the videos on the screen over here if you missed any content from me recently. I'll catch you on the next video. Peace out.